Good day learners and welcome to video number two in our PAT or grade 10 for 2024. We are now looking at phase two. Our topic is social media. Remember by now we would have chosen a particular area within this PAT. So sorry, let me go to this one. And remember we needed to research the following question how can your particular platform improve and negatively impact our lives in the area of and then you chose one of these okay so let's go down and let's go and look at phase two and what is needed so instructions for phase two you now need to plan the presentation so phase two Task number one, to be able to share knowledge and insight that you've gained from your audience. Okay, now you need to open a new PowerPoint file and add the headings to your presentation. Save this presentation in the phase two folder. Remember to give the file an appropriate name. Refer to an extra C in this document and create a framework or outline for the presentation and include the slide heading. So. You've got to have a title slide, a table of contents, an introduction, overview of findings. That's about three to four slides, a conclusion slide, and a references slide. They tell you, make use of the slide designs in PowerPoint. Um, save the framework of the presentation as your next task will be to add images and content. So please, task one is to plan the presentation. So you're creating the file, you're putting the titles in place, you're just getting everything that you need in place. And I just want to see a next year. See, here we go. So there you go. This is the framework of your presentation. So you're creating that and then you're creating a picture with this. Right? If I go back up here. Sorry, let me zoom in out a bit too much. Um... This is the rubric. Let's just go up here. So remember, task number one, we're planning the presentation. Task number two is where you are creating the title slide. You are completing the introduction in the next task. So can you see uh, they've broken up each one of these tasks within the presentation? Okay. Now, when I got the files they gave me a sample of what the presentation should look like so here we go here's a title slide table of contents then one two three four five six this one has now bear in mind there's an introduction and then there's one, two, three, four, five that deals with the body. In other words, the overview of the findings. This is why they're saying somewhere between two to five slides. Then a conclusion. And then your references. Okay, so this is a basic structure of what your PowerPoint presentation should look like. And again, I'm going to go up here. Let's start it again so that we are clear. Task one is planning the presentation. In other words, you are now going to create the file, give it a name, put in the headings, right? Make use of a design, that's it. The second task in phase two is to create just the title slide. There's the details that they want. Task three, so you can see this is all part of phase two, but they've broken it into individual tasks. Task three, is for you to write four sentences, four sentences that cover the following, the purpose of the investigation, your focus area, and a short summary of your investigation. Task four is where you present your complete overview and findings. You might want to put in a screenshot of some of the feedback you got from people, some of the charts you created, etc. cetera. Um, yeah, they mention Please, everything in your own words, no plagiarism. Write about, write short points about your focus area. Have good quality information, 
demonstrate a good understanding of the infl information and you should use more than one slide to share your findings with your audience. Okay, task five, use graphics and images that are relevant to the topic for the purpose of the report. Ensure the images are easy to read and interpret. You can add pictures, videos, discussion points to these slides. All right, task six, create a slide for the conclusion. In the conclusion, they say here, Write a short conclusion to share your focus and findings and visions with your audience. Be creative and innovative. I want to see this. Below you will find an extract from ChatGPT of what should be written in a good conclusion. So, folks, they even give you this. Right? Great tens. Really, everything you need is here. Task 7, the acknowledgement. In other words, your, your references. You're going to put that in. And then, obviously, you can go and edit your slides, make sure all the spelling and language is correct, etc. Check the general appearance and readability. Um, and then you can go and do your table of contents. And they want you to do that because obviously you would have created headings and so that you can pull those headings through. They also want task 11, some action buttons and hyperlinks. And you can use some effects. And then present the presentation. So present the presentation to your teacher. The presentation must include one of the following activities. Presenting it to a person, in person, sorry, to your teacher by making use of a data projector or recording it and saving that and then giving that to them. You must add at least one voice recording to your presentation, even if you present your research face to face. The presentation should be no longer than two minutes. It must be well prepared, well presented, and capture your audience. And then you want to organize your documents, make sure you've handed it in on time. Um, and that's it. That's it for phase two. So let's go and have a look at the rubric. Let's go and check this rubric out. For phase two. Okay. So we're getting marks for slideshow created. Headings in place. Headings are larger font than the paragraph. In other words, the heading, the font size of the heading is larger than the rest of the text. So if you've done that, there's three marks. Having a title slide. You see there? Title slide layout applied. Title slide must have name, surname, name of school, etc. If you comply with that, three marks. Your introduction, four marks. The overview of your findings, three marks. Another three marks. Right? You've got images, you've got backup for what you're saying. Your conclusion, three marks. Your bibliography or your acknowledgement, three marks. Um, good language usage, three marks. You know, um, General appearance. So if you've got a good design, lovely layout, colors are good, fonts are good, your alignment, everything, is, everything looks good, there's four marks up for grabs there. Um, table of contents slide, another three marks. And the fact that you have functional hyperlinks, hyperlinks to research folder attached or added. So a hyperlink to that folder of yours. And action buttons, there's another three marks. If you've got slide effects, another three marks. Presenting it in class, another three marks. Um, having your folder with everything in it, another three marks. Handing it in on time, two marks. Guys, you're getting marks for free. <laughs> and the general evaluation. Um, your teacher will see to that. So that is phase two, and that will end up bringing to an end your pet. Okay, so please, everything is in this document. I just want to see the teacher guideline. Yes, so for phase two, you are planning the present. Phase two, you're basically doing the, the presentation and you're presenting it. That's what it is. Planning it, creating the title slide, introduction, overview, Conclusion, acknowledgement, check language, check appearance, table of contents, navigation, slide effects, create the video or present it, submit it, have the evidence of documents and declaration for phase two. There we go. You want to make sure your declaration of authenticity is there as well. Um, and then you're done. Then that's it for the grade 10 pet for 2024. Hope this helps.